This is the salt and sand mixture lab where we're going to separate a mixture of salt and sand. So here's our mixture. It's a heterogeneous mixture. You can see the different lumps of salt and sand in here. And the goal in today's lab is to separate the salt from the sand and to figure out what percentage of the mixture was salt and what percent of the mixture was sand. Uh, the procedure is to first take a evaporating dish and a wash glass. We're going to get the mass of this as it's empty. And the mass of the empty evaporating dish and watch glass is 80.67. 80.67 for the empty evaporating dish and watch glass. And now we're going to take our sample of salt and sand mixture. So we'll just stir this around and take a random sample of salt and sand. Looks like a good amount. And we'll weigh it again. And we have 88.39. 88.39 for the salt and sand mixture. All right, uh, the next step is to dissolve the salt and sand in a bit of water. So we're using differences in physical properties. We know that salt will dissolve in water and sand will not. So we pour our mixture into a small beaker. And then we're going to add about 10 milliliters of water and the water will dissolve the salt, but it won't have any effect on the sand. So to separate a mixture, you use, a, you use differences in physical properties. And the physical property we're using right here is solubility in water. Salt will dissolve in water pretty easily, and sand does not. Uh, now to separate the salt water from the sand, we're going to use filtration. So we're going to set up the filtration apparatus right here. Uh, we have an Erlenmeyer flask and a funnel, and we'll take a piece of filter paper and we'll fold it to make a filter. And so we fold it, make a filter, and now we can pour the salt water through the filter. Uh, the salt water will go through the filter and it will catch the sand and it will hold it out of the filter. So you can see the salt water going in here, and then you can see the uh, sand remaining up there in the top. There's still a bit of sand in here. We're going to wash it off with about 10 more milliliters of water to uh, get any sand that, or any salt that hasn't dissolved yet. We'll stir that around, make sure all the salt is dissolved, and we'll pour the rest of this through the filter. Uh, the filtration is kind of slow. We have a filter with very small holes in it, so it takes a little while for the water to drip through, but you can see it is dripping through there slowly. Uh, here's one that I actually started a bit earlier. So this one, you can see that the sand is now in the filter and all the salt water has been moved down into the beaker. Uh, we, we can get rid of the sand. We don't need the sand. We're just going to throw this part away. And what we're going to keep is the salt water. And now we need to separate another mixture. We have a mixture of salt and water. We want to separate the water from the salt. And here we're going to use another physical property, and that is boiling point. We know that salt and water have different boiling points. So if we heat this mixture, we're going to do that in our evaporating dish. So we'll take our evaporating dish back over here that we weighed at the beginning, and we'll pour our salt water into the evaporating dish. And we'll cover it with the watch glass. And now we're going to heat this over the Bunsen burner. Uh, we know that water has a low boiling point, and so it'll boil off first. And then the salt has a very high boiling point, so it'll remain later. Uh, we'd like this Bunsen burner. We let it go until all of the water has evaporated. And I have one that I did a little bit earlier. And so after all the water has evaporated, uh, this is what it would look like. And you can see the salt is all dry now, and all the water has been removed. And now that the water has been removed, we can find the final mass of our salt in the evaporating dish with the watch glass. And the final mass is 83.69. So after all of the sand has been removed, after all the water has evaporated off, uh, 83.69 is the mass of the dish with the salt in it. And now you can subtract to figure out how much of the mixture was salt and how much of the mixture was sand, and then to find the percentage of salt and percentage of sand in the mixture. Uh, just to review, we use differences in physical properties to separate the mixture.